So today's episode and going north solo is all about um, having a look at some abandoned airfields here on the Isle of Man. i um, going to have a look at RAF Andreas as well as RAF Jerby and uh, stay tuned to see a little bit of what these airfields actually look like today in 2023. Well, hello again. So, I've taken a ride out here to um, RAF Andreas, and uh, this is on located on the northern part of the Isle of Man, in the United Kingdom. Apparently, this airfield was established in 1941 as a fighter command airfield, and uh, the main runways, as I can see here, are like massive. I'll have a look at, at the lens, but they used to. Uh, handle some really large aircraft. It's quite fascinating. There's still an old terminal building here and um, it uh, apparently had an, a number of Spitfires. 457 Squadron was based here at Andreas Airfield. It's not much left here but the runways are actually still intact. I think there's a little bit of a glide operation that goes on here and uh, it was, uh, it's, it's quite a fascinating place. Uh, not, and also one of the sort of flattest parts of the island from what I've seen, having just ridden through here from Douglas. It was a fair ride actually, considering, but slow going through some of the windy roads to get here. So I'm standing here exactly in the cross runway sort of see the tower in the distance there apparently that's somebody's house at the moment but uh, yeah it's, it's still here and uh, rather a good bit of tar I can see why it could accommodate some really big aircraft Hello again. Um, I've arrived here at Jerby Airfield, uh, which is also located in the northern part of the Isle of Man in the United Kingdom. Um, there's a control tower still up here. I'm not too sure if it's the original one, uh, but it, it certainly looks like it. And uh, the, it's quite a busy area here now. There's a go-karting circuit, and apparently this is also a race a racetrack. Uh, they use uh, the runway for flying as well as uh, racing and yeah, so just some more information here. So it opened in 1939 After the air ministry acquired the land in 1937 and during World War II primarily used for training purposes So it looks like there was number five armament training station here number five air observer school uh, number five bombing and gunnery school as well as air navigation and bombing school. Um, also hosted various operational squadrons in the summer of 1941 and originally a grass airfield and later upgraded to having two paved uh, runways. Um, went on into care and maintenance in October 1947 and in 1950 it was uh, transformed what do they say? Uh, transformed into a number one initial training school. Well, I must say, visiting the Isle of Man has just been amazing. What an incredible place. Um, I just found it fascinating. It's, it's just a beautiful part of the world, and just getting to see the motorcycle racing here was just also incredible. Um, the scenery is amazing. The island's bigger than one actually thinks. And uh, you really can enjoy yourself on a motorcycle just getting around here and enjoying this amazing scenery. So thank you so much, uh, Isle of Man. I uh, look forward to coming back here sometime again and um, heading off soon to Scotland and going to go and have a look at some more abandoned airfields and 
anything to do with motorcycles and just solo traveling. And uh, yeah, check these midges out. There's midges everywhere. <laughs> They're little nasty buggers, they bite the shit out of you. <laughs>